Adventure Girl Explore your world Live it fast And make it last Hey, this is Fran Capo and thanks for correspondent for Live It Up. So I'm doing two firsts today. The first is that I'm appearing on camera without makeup and looking all disheveled, but that's because I am in Nicaragua and I've been here for five days because I am going to do something that only a handful of people have done in the world. We are going to descend via zip line into the Messiah volcano. Now the Messiah volcano, which is down there, is an active volcano with a lava lake. And like I said, only a handful of people have done this in the world. Now to prepare to go down there, we have to make sure that we wear the long pants, have them tucked into our shoes to make sure that no fibers come up from the from the lava there that could actually cut you. We have to wear the gas mask because as you can see, there are sulfur plumes that are coming up. And we're gonna go into different levels. So we're gonna go zip that line down to the first level, walk around, and then we'll zip line to the second level. And depending on how deadly the sulfur fumes are, we may go where the lava is. Now, because it's an active volcano, it can explode at any time. That's the adventure. You want to say, oh, I am right at the edge. And that's where I'll be. I may come up a lot quicker than I go down. So I figured what I would let you know what we were doing in Nicaragua for five days and where our base camp is. Right here, it looks like a Mars colony, but these are actually shift pods. This is the newest thing. Instead of using regular tents that take forever to set up, it's like 20 seconds that these things are set up. We had every night, torrential acid rain showers and we were dry inside there it was awesome we also went down there um in where you see all that tree line and down there are lava tubes filled with bats hundreds of bats just flying all around so this is where we've been we've climbed to the top of that mountain and as you could see i am standing actually on the zip line that our new zealand crew has rigged up and are still working on. And behind us is our fearless leader, uh, Nick Halleck, who arranged this whole thing. There he is, first person to ever sleep inside a volcano. And if you can see right here, if you can get the angle, this is what I will be doing. I'm the first to go down. I think uh, my husband might have paid Nick to make sure that that happened. Okay, <laughs> right down there. It's going to be quite an adventure. Okay, this is me on the zip line. Above is where I went, and down there is the Golfo. There is the active volcano. I got to stick my glove back on, but as you can see, I am zip lined in, heading down. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera away because I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Here comes one of the first women in the volcano, Masaya Volcano. Okay, go ahead, go down. This was so awesome. You had to get and turn around a little bit, but it wasn't as bad as you thought, and now I am standing inside an active volcano. How many people can see Okay, that? stop. <laughs> This is so awesome. And I have Rodolfo, the guy who was the very first person to be in here. I will interview him later, but here I am. Where very few have come. Here Rodolfo. we are. Rodolfo! <laughs> and we are going to walk over the edge and actually see the lava cave. Tonight you'll be able to see the, the lava. Right now you don't. You don't see it because of the gases, but you now you'll be able to see it. If we wait, you'll probably be able to see the lava right there. You see it over there? A little bit? Oh, yeah, yeah, right there. Wait, I'm going to zoom in. Can you guys see that? That's the Messiah Lava River. There are two craters. Where's the... Oh, one right there. That's one crater and that's another crater. That's one there and that's one there. Wow. Now, people don't ever go down to that point, do they? No, we, we get to this edge over there, down below. Oh, we are? Yeah. Today? Uh, probably tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, I might miss that part. But look how cool this is. Yeah. Okay, so guys, 
just to prove that I am actually here. Hopefully you can see that it's below. This is not Photoshop, okay? <laughs> hey, Frank Keppel here. You know, you know that I don't like the cold. So why not take a dip in the river? Okay, you know, that line over there, they're gonna dip me down, bring me up. It may be a little hot, but you know, I like it that way. Listen, I love adventure. You gotta try, live life to the fullest. Just say yes and figure it out later. Look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh, look. That's unbelievable. That is one hot lava. Yeah. I have never been this close to lava. This is amazing. I had a lava lamp and that was about it. <laughs> Okay. Black stick. Here is. Uh, Pilly's here, and it's it's really quite interesting the way it forms. The the lava, the basalt lava at the bottom, bubbles up, and uh, big globules fly into the air. And when it flies into the air, it leaves behind a thin little trail of, of uh, lava, really really thin. And and because it's in contact with the air, that cools really quickly, so it sets. Gas plumes that come out of the volcano uh, catch catch those fine fibers and, and blow them up into the air. And uh, a little later, they'll they'll fly around in the air, then come and settle down on the ground, um, as you can see. Now, yeah, because I touched those things before, and those things they get into your skin like splinters. And so they were said that we have to wear these glasses to make sure you know that doesn't go in your eye. Yeah, I mean they're, they're quite nasty. Um, you really do have to be careful. Wear gloves and, and tape up your boots. Um, they're, they're like splinters, or a little bit like standing on uh, on uh, sometimes kinna or um, shellfish with, with the little spikes, and they'll, they'll stick into your skin. And unlike wood that you can sort of pull out, these often break off. So you, you have to be really careful because quite often you'll get splinters, but then when you go to get them out, they'll just snap and. Yeah, and I had that out. happen. Yeah. So how do you get them out? You don't. Uh, you got to dig a big hole, basically. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you got to dig a hole like this volcano, and I'm not doing that. So I'm just going to keep my gloves on because I don't want to be digging those things. How long you been doing this? Um, this is my first volcano trip. Um, I've, I've, oh, now I feel secure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've, I've spent a lot of time in volcanoes, but I haven't used ropes to get into them. I've worked with ropes a lot and worked with volcanoes a fair bit, but it's, it's my first time putting the two together, so it's... Oh, that's it's, great. Um, and you're the guys who set up the gear. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're setting up all the rigging, um, the three of us. Um, is there a name of your company? Um, so we're working uh, through Jeff. Okay. Um, Ultimate Volcano Expeditions. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was the name? Ultimate Volcano Expeditions. Cool. Yeah. And um, see, you have to understand something. We came down very leisurely on the zip line that they set up, but they came down on a rappel rope, right? Yeah, exactly. So we start at the top. Um, I'll just check. No, that's all right. Just checking the carbon dioxide. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, if we both collapse during this video, we'll know it wasn't good. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so we, we start at the top and we have a big rope. And we'll, we'll walk our way down abseiling on the rope uh, it's connected at the top and then periodically we'll we'll drill holes into the rock and re-deviate it or bolt it into the rock um, to ensure we can get down without knocking any rocks from above and also yourself off the ledge exactly yeah okay, yeah because yeah, so. we'd like to have you guys around <laughs> besides yeah. the fact that you're the ones getting us here but we'd like to have you around yeah, yeah. so anyway thank you so much jc all right so yep, i just yeah, ate no, my first you. churro uh down inside the messiah volcano not that i'm eating a hundred others but um I was talking to my two new best friends over here <laughs> and they were explaining because I don't want you people to think like, oh, she's just walking on a bunch of rocks and yeah, love is below her. You have to understand that all these cracks. All right, first, let me go back a second. When you see bubbling lava and you see it's red and then dark black, what happens is as it's bubbling up, the other part is cooling. The black part is the cooling part. So at one point, everything you can see here was a lava bed. So as you see the cracks and everything in the rocks, that's exactly what's happening down there, except it's a lot harder down there than up here. Did I get it right? Pretty much, yeah, perfect. There we go. Well, a good it's teacher. been about a half an hour, and I'm dangling up in the air. They're doing whatever they're doing up there, getting more kerosene or whatever. I'm very comfortable, except for whatever is tight around my neck, and I think it's my helmet uh -oh, leaning back. But whatever, it's a nice view, and how often can you say you're stopping in the middle between up and down? What goes up must go down. I could hear the guys talking in the background, on the ground, by the volcanoes. Well, I definitely could say I have a bird's eye view. 
at least the vultures are gone. They were circling around above, and I was like, hmm, do I look like... Oh, I said they were gone. Now they're actually fighting. I hope they're not fighting over whose meal I'm going to be. You heard them, you right? Yeah. <laughs> you wanted an adventure, Capo. You got it. Hey, Fran, you've been hanging out there for a while? I've been hanging out for a while. The only time I got a little nervous is when the vultures started arguing over which one was going to get me. This one will get All right, well, uh, you'll... Like meat on a stick. <laughs> you'll love to hear the tale about how uh, what we've been doing up here to get you back up. But uh, we'll show you when we get up top. top. Okay. All right. All right. So, yeah, we'll just walk this one. Okay, quite slow. Okay. All right, let's do it. Yeah. We have to videotape our first recovery. We are. Ready? Um, go. 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 Slow down. Slope. Stop, right? Stop for a second. Let us just hold it. Yeah. Yeah. Want me rigged up down here to help her? Or? Yeah, we'll go slowly. I know, I said if you want me to put a harness on, I'll let me know. Hold on, uh, we'll get, um, can we come up slowly, Fran? Yeah, come up yep. slowly. Come up slowly. Slowly, slowly. Yep. That's good enough. I don't care if you drag me at this point. Stop, 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 stop. I shouldn't come to you. You should stand up and come up. Pull a little more, guys. I think a little, take a little more, take a little more. Okay, woo! -hoo. Holy shit! <laughs> Oops. Welcome back. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay, it was an arduous uh, climb up on top, but <laughs> how was but, the whole trip? Oh my god, the whole thing was so fabulous, you guys. The people coming down next are gonna love it, and I think for you guys, it's gonna be great because the sulfur is clearing out, and you'll be able to do the dangle over the lava. <laughs> I instead ate the meat that was being cooked down below. <laughs> it was